of me, James Shredder James, playing as Pen Neb. What? Oh my goodness, I am so pumped to be back in this game, guys. Um, I finally got it working after a good time internet searching, and uh, let me just say, this game gave me hell when it came to like trying to figure out problems. I mean, first I had to figure out what the dot .ll meant, and then I had to figure out like how to get the map organizations right, and then I had to get figure out how to get fraps working again, get all the details worked out. I mean, it has been an adventure trying to get this working, but I am so glad I finally got it working. I'm finally glad to be back in this let's play. I'm finally glad that we are starting a let's play again. I'm so happy for this. Because you know what? Starting let's plays is so much fun, and getting to the beginning is just like the best. So, um, yeah. I'm so glad to be back. And I'm glad that the let's play that I'm starting back on is one that is going to be. Of interesting consequence and I've always said the name of the nation I'm playing at which is Paneb it is honestly a very hard nation to play as and it's going to be quite fun so let's just uh, let's just dive right into what we're gonna do so as you know as Paneb um, the only reason why you want to play as Paneb is you want to form India the only way you can form India is you have to be a civilization then the only way you can get a civilized nation is you're gonna have to go up, do a lot, a lot of conquest, okay? That's basically how the entire world works in this, so... Um, what I've kind of done is developed a kind of strategy of, well, as you guys know, and how I really do like, is that everyone really does like when I make maps, so... Uh, uh dang, I didn't want to show off that one yet, but okay, we show off both the maps, so... We have, in red, everyone, the map modes. The map modes. The map modes. So in red, we have the outlines of what I want to own with my new Indian Empire. Because, you know what? Paneb has had a dream. It has said, you know, we are tired of being this, you know, nation that every other state laughs about. We want to be that powerful people as the British. We want to control the world. We want to be the powerful, the great Indian Empire! And you know what? We don't want to just own India. We want to be the king of Persia. The queen of... The queen of Pakistan. And the king of Afghanistan. We want to be the rulers of Central Asia and of South Asia. We! Because that's what the Paneb was destined to do! And you know what? Destiny can never stop a great nation's rise. You know what? No one, no one can stop a great nation's rise. It's not just destiny, but it's fate. We will become India. We will become a new and we birthed India, where we will quite possibly shatter the British's power, destroy the Chinese influence in the world, and corrupt the Russians' power in the northern west. And what we'll be doing is basically doing a lot, <laughs> if I must be honest with you. So, our first advance, our first war, which um, this time around with maps, I'm basically going to be um, giving you a new map every single episode, me creating a new map every single episode, detailing what is going to kind of happen over the next few month, months. And the first thing we're going to do in this new version is we're going to go directly after Afghanistan. And for you guys who don't know, who have never played as Panam, Afghanistan is beeping hard. Like, legitly, this game really does pump up Afghanistan to be one of those hard nations that, <laughs> quite frankly, you have trouble conquering even if you are a great power. So, um, this is going to be an interesting campaign of me trying to do this. So, um, what I've done is I've kind of developed a kind of mediumly detailed plan, comparatively to my other ones where I detailed about what I'm going to do and to try to defend against myself. And before we get into the conquest and the detailing of the net, I better go do some other things, which is like... And if you guys haven't noticed, we have to fix some of our other problems in our country before we start dealing with the war aspect. So first off, um, our budget. Our budget is going terrible. And what we need to do is completely and utterly be a complete jerk to everyone and tax our people like there is no tomorrow. Okay, now that we have taxes, 
we have taxed our people and milled them all. So now we have taxed our people like crazy. Next, what we need to do is address our literacy rate. Our literacy rate stinks. So what we need to do is go to our capital. And you want to go to your capital, okay? And there's a specific reason why you want to go to your capital for the next move. So what you need to do is you're going to need to go to National Focus. And we're going to go start recruiting clergymen to start influencing our our percentage because most of our, our only accepted culture in our country is Pakis, is Pavo, is Panebi Y, Panebi Y. It's gonna sound really bad, but it's Pan, it's Panjabi, Panjabi. No, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm gonna stop trying. It's, it's my making, my making this is not helping this at all. So we will just say my people. That's better. My people are mostly just this and. I don't really have any other accepted culture group, like, legitly, if we look at our nationalities, this is the only place where my culture is strong. The rest of the places are all these weird other little nation things, I mean, it's just, it's just all a mess, I mean, and then India is just really a mess, which I may have to do some things about that later, but we're mainly going to be concentrating on, on this, so if you mainly concentrate on this and what we want to do is we want to hire our literacy rate and the only nation that does actually have a literacy rate or will actually accept the literacy is this region so if you want to get your literacy rate up which is what we do need because right now we need to at least get our clergymen up to 2.0 percent of our population right now we only have it at 0.96 percent which is not good because we need to quickly we need to quickly start putting our goals as the civilization or the civilized so that we can start you know taking on other nations so that isn't good, but, you know, this is the only way we can solve the problem, is that we have to put a clergyman right here in this province alone. Do not put it in this province, and do not ruin this. Also, I should mention right now, this is probably going to be also a tutorial on how to, on how to, uh, form India, because it's going to be, you can basically take my basic plan and use it to your own ends to figure out how you guys want to form India. But anyways, now that I've talked about that, now we go to Afghanistan, and we instantly... Get a causes belly against them, a conquest causes belly, and now, now that we've kind of stabilized our economy, now I can start talking about the war. So, the war, everyone, which I'm hopefully thinking that this will happen all in one episode so that we can, you know, reminisce about it and have a great start. Because if this does not work, then I'm sorry, my, basically, if this does not work, my entire army will be destroyed and the Paneb Let's Play will be over in about one episode, so let's hope this, let's pray this hope. Well, actually, let's play to Allah, let's, that's gonna work, and what we're gonna do, alright, so now that I've got my army, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a good line, so basically what happens is that Afghanistan has a stronger army than us, okay? Just off the bat, they have a stronger army, and no matter how much building we, ha we do in the next, like, week, or between now and our causes belly for Congress, we're never going to be able to build up to their strength. So, what we have to do is use our terrain and our terrain and our army size to kind of give us the advantage. And our generals, I mean, to give us the advantage. So, what we have to do is divide this guy in half, divide this guy in half, and stick him right here. Okay? Then we move this army to right here. Okay? Then, with this remaining, like, stack of army, we divide it one more time. It'll give us, like, a weird number. We move this right there, and we move this army right there. So this will establish our pre-line of our army, which will definitely not stick right here, because they would instantly be destroyed, but stick right here in the mountains, where even if they would attack us with a full force, we would have the upper advantage. Okay, ah, wait, you can actually keep the map out. Okay. So now let me just fast forward because it's going to take our men a long time to get there. And hopefully the lag, I'm hoping that I fix the lag problems too. But you never know in this game. This game has <laughs> very weird electricity. So, alright. So now that we have a good front, okay, my basic plan is this. And it's very detailed because I kind of took, I kind of took an idea from the wiki on how to do this. But it's not exactly the wiki's plan. It's basically my own. So. They're going to swarm in with about 9,000 troops right here. And you're basically going to have to... No, about 12,000, sorry. You know what? Instead of... 
instead of actually telling you now, I'm just gonna keep it, I'm just gonna keep some suspense and say, this is a line of Peneb and you guys have to deal with it. So, what we're gonna also do is build one army soldier of regular Penebian, Penebian, um, infantry, and we're gonna move that soldier right over here, that way we have a good, strong right flank. I mean, this is our weakest flank, but it's still strong enough to deal with any kind of army, and we instantly have some backup, and that's sad, we got 18.83 infamy, that's was not desirable but we could live with that we could live with that infamy so um basically we'll be hindered in this entire let's play about how fast our infamy count will go down which of course oh and now we get that event they're coming for us everyone they're coming for us those afghanistan people they're coming for us they're gonna slave us they're gonna whip our women they're just coming for us right now and please don't take offense to that staying right now it's just what the event called for so now that we have a good line of front, we're just going to sit here and just relax. Like, legitly, we're just going to relax. So I'm just going to back up all the way. There's no... We need to go a little bit faster. Yeah, we need to go really fast because this is going to be a really high intense episode. Whew. Which now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because this next part, if I mess up... Oh, if I mess up. This next part, this, this next part has to go off swimmingly. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to do anything. Okay, so we just got that soldier sound. That means we just made our new soldier and annexation just possible. I'm going to wait until my soldiers are in position before I declare war. Okay. And as you can see, uh, the British are also quite interested in my land. They definitely are um, quite eccentric about keeping their soldiers right near my border. So, yeah, any, uh, the British are going to have to be dealt with later. But for right now, we need to deal with Afghanistan and claim some land from them. So... Um, let me see. Are there any wars right now? Um, no, they're actually, they're not in any wars. Wow. But Mexico's in a war. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are all typical wars. Um, but dang, I did not know Afghanistan was in war. And I actually thought I'd gain this because usually Afghanistan goes to war against Pakur or the at war with Pakur in the beginning. And what usually happens is Afghanistan usually claims this little part right here. But I guess not. I guess not this time. Well, it's still, in the long run, it's still going to help us. So, let us continue. So, our forces have mounted, we have um, protected our army, we have trained our army for this moment. We're now going to... Dang, my army did not build up as much as I thought it would. Okay, um, that may be just slightly bit of a huh? problem, but I thought we'd have at least a thousand in the bank before we get to war, but eh, guess sometimes my dreams don't happen. So, we've now trained for this moment, we are now ready to start the first step in our dream to make India. It is... I'm coining it the I had a dream. So, the war for Afghanistan is on me on this. So, let's see. We're gonna move in. What are they gonna do? Right, so we have two armies. We have the 19,000 right over here and 24,000 right here. Now, since we're actually in the battlefield, I'll explain my plan. So, what basically is gonna happen is the they have three armies in total. I know this for a fact. I've checked it out many, many times, done this scenario many times. They have three armies. So that means that they're going to be three three armies that are potentially bigger than us. We have potentially two armies that are about the same height, but they have a third army, which makes it even harder. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our nutrition value from <laughs> from our country's really, really good nutrition, nutrition backlash. I mean... Our country has a really good nutrition, and we're just going to use that against them. And we're just going to wait until they just keep dying off. And then, once they're as weak as they can be, we're going to hit them with all we got. So, and these guys are going to try to go, I guess, right there. But it's not going to work because we have enough soldiers just in case that, that happens to protect ourselves. Okay. And they're actually killing some of their own soldiers because they're actually... Um... Conquesting, okay. So, now they're gonna move in. I'm expecting that. Nope, nope, he decided to retreat, so. Um, what we could do is, we could actually nail this army right here, because it's pretty weak. Um, this army we don't particularly want to do anything with yet. So we still need to wait and keep it back, but. Um, this army right here is pretty much weak, and we can hit it with a bigger force. The only problem is, is that now they have a good advantage, and what we're going to do is, um, we're going to move in our soldiers from down here, and go directly at them, because now we have a definitely new numerical advantage of 2 to 1, 
over there. Yes! Okay, so battle should T. We won. Okay. The battle should T. I'm gonna move all my men this way. That way they'll stop. Yep, okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep a couple men right here. Keep like a no leaderless army. Okay. We're gonna need to send some of our men down there. Okay, keep these five men. Keep our keep our greatest general right there. Guarding and there we go. The print post war we won. Okay, now that we've kind of crushed some of the armies, we're gonna add up some of our armies and now we're gonna move in right here. Which is what I was showing guys about battles and our sequences. Okay. Um they're moving in quite literally and you guys actually um just stay right here. We're gonna use our general to our advantage. Um Dang it, I thought we would have the other third army, but apparently that third army is... Okay, I see what they're gonna... I see what they're gonna do. I see exactly what they're gonna do. And instead of trying to, like, prevent it, I'm just gonna try to leave. So, they're moving in with the army of November 3rd. When will we get out of there? November 9th. We'll be in combat. We'll buy right here. We'll be able to escape November 8th, November 7th. Dang. Okay, so these guys are going into combat no matter what. So, but that's good. Because that means not only do we have a heals advantage, which is great, because that means that only about 66% of the place will be defended. We have 2.0 defense rate. We have mounted costs. I mean, this is... Okay, so this is going to be a really big battle one way or another, but they're going to lose, basically. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move our army this way, kind of hopefully starving out some of them. And where are they moving? Like, seriously, where are they moving? Chaturi. Oh, they're moving right towards the ship. Yeah, let's just keep moving this way. Move our men out of this area. And I apparently moved these guys in the wrong place. Okay, so yeah, get back in p formation. I may have messed this plan up just a slightly bit. Okay, so I'm just going to move in all my men. And we're going to try to gain back in our position of defensiveness. Because um, right now I'm not doing the best of jobs. So right now we have a... How much is that army worth numerically? I don't know. I can't see it. So we're going to wait until, until the dust figures out. Because they're not going to be able to conquer my land very quickly. Especially if they're in the back. So, okay, now I know. We're going to use our numerical value right here to beat this army. Okay. Because this army, that army is pretty dang weak. And we can crush it with just a couple blows. Yes, okay. Just have to crush it. Just have to crush it. I'm not. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. Oh, they're dividing up the army. That's good. That's good. Okay, so that means we should have even more of a... No, don't you dare run. Don't you dare run like little cowards. I'm taught Afghanistan, please. For the love for the love of Benji. Don't make me feel like okay. I'm gonna use this army to come in too. Dang it. Okay. So we're gonna try to hit one of these armies up. Um I'm gonna keep this army right near here. So that we have a little bit of conquest spree. Um Okay, they're gonna arrive January 30th. They're gonna leave January. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, yeah, them definitely not gonna hit those guys. We're definitely gonna go this way, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go straight at these guys. You know what? Actually, what we should do? Both of you guys go right there. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit this army right over there with both of our strong armies. That's almost a two to one numerical value. Yeah, they're running now. They're running. So actually. Since they're running right now, we actually don't need to attack them because they're... That means they're pretty dang weak. And if they stay in our land any longer, they're going to keep getting nutrition, which is what we want. And we honestly need to go hunt down these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break off some of my army. going to have my horses go engage them first. And then have my... Uh, yeah, we have, some, we have some of these armies thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to be tough. So I'm gonna have this army move right over there, okay, and, dang it, we want to get to them before they, so let's see, you almost there, okay, they will get there, they, we definitely don't want them to group up with that army, otherwise they have a good March 7th, where you arriving, you better arrive there quicker, because you've been doing this longer, okay, yes you will, you arrive there much quicker than they will leave, so then, that will give us some time, so they'll engage them, we just need to hold them off for seven days. That's all you need. Seven days. Seven days. Don't you dare. Don't you dare break. Yes! Oh, shoot. But now they're combining. Okay. Since they're going to be combining here soon, I'm going to attack this army. 
or that army over there. Um, now they're all combined, which is somewhat good thing, somewhat bad thing, and we're attacking this Afghanistan force. Basically gonna hunt it down. Okay. Okay, so now it's dead. Okay. Do not let it escape. Just keep attacking it. This force over there is quite scary. We want to make sure that we engage at some point, but I don't have... We need to make sure we kill this other Afghanistani army before we do that. Ugh. May have messed up here. I may have messed up here. I don't know. Wait, okay, so kill all these guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we need to quickly go down here to go, um, get, come on, quickly move. Move. We need to make sure they do not conquer this land. Because if they conquer this land, it's going to take us a long time to repair this. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to do a 2 to 1 numerical value. Well, not quite 2 to, two to 1 numerical value, and they're retreating. Good. I'm going to move my soldiers right over here. We're going to see if we can get a pinpoint bottleneck. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. So what we're going to do, since we can't actually get a pinpoint bottleneck, is we're going to move our soldiers right there. So our general of Chati. We actually have, have two generals. Yes! Okay. We finally have two generals now, and this guy's unfit for duty. Put Raji in the... Yeah, put Raji. Our country will suffer... No, I, I don't care. Put Raji in charge. He's a much better... Yeah, look at this guy. He's a much better commander than that other pathetic guy. So what we're going to do is have Raji go into the battle first. He'll charge in with his 13,000. What we'll do next is we'll have an, another army with Chad. Chad Majai. And he'll charge in with his really good defense rating. So this one's really good defense. This one's really good at morale. This will make sure that... This will make sure that this will be a great battle. Okay, so we're going to charge in. Our men are not doing necessarily well. I didn't expect them to, but now... Why do we have such a low... Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. We lost. We lost. For some reason, we're losing much more men than they are. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any numerically any sense. And we have no army to raise. So, I think this is it. We lost. Yeah, let's just, 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 just retreat. Just retreat, just retreat. That's not gonna win. Okay. Okay, for some reason, we lost that battle. We still have the advantage in terms of military. But for some reason, I know this for a fact, my men don't heal quick. Like, legitly. Um, let me see. Did I do anything wrong with, like, sliders? No. I'm supporting my men as much as I can. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to turn education and almost everything else off. I will turn administration off completely. We have to be financing our men. Yes. Finance the men. Okay. Right now, we still have the advantage. We just don't have the mil the um, morale, which I don't get. So, let me see. What's our morale gain? Come on, tell me. 0, 0.00. Okay, what about if I go to my capital? Come on, there's got to be a good numerical value there. Okay, and they're gaining major nutrition right now, so this is really bad if we don't get this. Why are you guys not... Oh my goodness. Oh wait, is it Chad? Is it because it's a Chad commander? No. I'm gonna put Raji in charge, because Raji knows... Yeah, he's a slightly better morale person. I don't really care if it's a slightly better native modifier. Okay, Raji has a slightly better, um... Morale charge. I'm hoping that will help... Maybe get these guys back in the organization. Because we need to get back into this quickly. I don't know how the Afghanistan people stood up against us. Um, but we lost badly. And I don't know why our army is so bad. So I'm just going to like maybe divide it. Maybe that's what I need to do. Um, oh, maybe what I can do is at this point. Because I don't think they're going to heal. I'm good. What I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm sure, I'm not sure if this is going to be risky or not. What I'm going to do is completely surround the position, have them attack one of our armies, and then we're just going to swarm them in. Like, legitly just swarm in. So we're just going to completely surround their position, and we're going to see if this is going to work. I, I've never tried this before, so this is going to be an interesting experience to see if this is going to work. Because right now I'm trying to savage, savage, or salvage. Salvage is the right word. Why did I leave a completely zero zero? On? Well, they have forty men in there. It's not completely zero zero. Okay. So, all right. Whatever which way they attack, they're definitely gonna have to break through one of our lines. Probably this one's the best, if I must be honest with you. And none of our. Where the heck? 
do we get supplies in our country? Like, legitly, where do we get supplies? Okay, recruitment, crisis, no, I need density, no, supply limit. Alright, okay, so we have really good supply, wow, we have really good supply limit. Like, is that supply limit? Yeah, we have really good supply limit. Oh, no, now our supply limit's not so great. Now it looks like we have really bad supply limit, and that's what I was expecting. Okay, so what we have to do is, um, basically, uh, they have full morale though. I don't think we could beat a full morale army. But I don't want them to heal. I definitely don't want them to heal because if they were heal right now, we definitely have a disadvantage. Um, oh my goodness. I'm hoping my army would heal, but it's not healing. We have definitely a 4 to 1 advantage. That's definitely for sure. But I'm not sure we could win this because we have two 4s right there. That's 8. Um, and then plus these guys. Uh, you know what? Put it. Let's do it. We'll arrive on January 12th. Why not? Let's go hit them all at the same time. Ah, for Paneb! Charge! Oh, 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 oh! Come on, come on! Men, men, men! Kill them! Kill them all! Kill them! Yes! Oh, yeah! Okay, 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 okay. We just won, we just won. Okay, come on, go get them. Go get them. Go get them, go get them, charge them, charge them, do not lose, do not lose, they have only less, they have less than a thousand men, you cannot lose to this, I mean legitly, if you guys lose, you guys are the worst guys ever, okay, we're not losing, um, I'm not gonna open the newspaper yet, but they, they're gone, they're gone, okay, okay, time to go straight for the Panet army, oh, yes, we won, we won, <gasps> yay, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we won. We won. Oh my goodness, we won. Does this take ticking war score? This does. Uh, a prestige, why not? We won. We won. Oh, I might actually have a modifier that will kill me because I don't actually own all of Afghanistan, but I really won't care. If this... See, I think this is kind of stupid. If this does not, like, legitly, if I don't conquer all of Afghanistan in a certain amount of time, I should still... Let's see. Will this take away my Kaza's belly if... If this... If I don't have all of Afghanistan conquered? find out here soon my battered beaten army is moving straight for cabal okay so now it should be about time yeah all right it seems like all right, it doesn't seem like it really matters if we do that or not so oh my goodness I just want to thank you guys for watching and apparently my troops are just like crazily dying I don't know why um, hmm, is it time yet? Not quite. We need to wait just a little bit more. So, um, I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of oversee the, uh, conquest of this. This is, this is gonna be an extremely slow process because I'm gonna have to take over a lot of regions. And I don't have the biggest army anymore, so, um, this is gonna take a really long time, but... Um, I don't want, since this Let's Play is going to be more about me trying to stay in live and do all that, I'm just going to skip this, and I'll come back to you guys once we actually, if there's anything interesting happens, or if I finish conquesting this, because, <laughs> we won! So, um, yeah. See you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. We basically taken over a lot of Afghanistan. It took us a long time. And they are finally ready to capitulate, so. Peneb, everyone. Peneb. And with that, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. And we have officially taken our first steps to putting up this new India that I have envisioned. So, thank you guys for watching. And I hopefully will see you guys comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you guys next time.
What a name!